In this video, we're going to get our hands dirty and write some Java code. The first thing that you'll need to do is you have to make sure you're in the main activity.java file, which you'll find under this Java folder here. And this is where we will create the link between the Java code and those elements in the layout file, our image views and our button. Now, a lot of this code will look very unfamiliar at first. However, don't worry about understanding every single line of code right away. We will work through the syntax bit by bit over the course of the tutorials. Think of it as us putting together one of those big 1000 piece puzzles. We're going to start at the edges and then slowly work our way in to fill in the gaps until we have a clear picture. So how do we link the Java code to the elements in the layout file? Previously, we've used at drawable and at string to let the layout resource XML file know about something in another XML file. However, with Java code, linking to an element in an XML file is a little different. We're going to use a two step process. First, we will create a variable that will hold the layout element, say the button, and then we will retrieve that layout element and store it in that variable that we just created. Now, what do I mean by variable? You can think of a variable as a box. This box can be empty or it can contain data. Say I have a variable called my age. I can then assign it the value of 32. And come next year, I can change that value to a new value by assigning my age the value of 33. Here's how you create a variable that will hold a button. I'm going to enter some new lines here. And we're going to type button and then roll button. Done. So roll button is the name for the variable and button is the type of the variable. The key thing to understand about variables is that they all have a type. Now, what do I mean by type? A type is the category that a variable or a piece of data belongs to. Check out the Java cheat sheet below this video to see examples of common data types. There you can see that whole numbers or integers belong to the int category. Decimals have the float category. Really large or really accurate decimal numbers are of type double. And pieces of text are marked with quotation marks and belong to the string type. Here's another example. Int my number. Here we have a variable called my number, and it's of type int. Int stands for integer, so my number can only hold whole numbers. That's the important thing to note about variables. The type of the data has to match the type of the variable. A good analogy of how variables and types work is a children's shape fitting toy. If I wanted to assign a variable of type string, a piece of text, it would fit without a problem. However, if I wanted to assign that variable a value of a different data type, say integer, I would get an error and it wouldn't work. So roll button can only hold buttons and my number can only hold whole numbers or integers. Giving these variables a value is easy. All we have to do is use the equal sign. So if we want my number to be equal to four, we just say int my number is equal to four. And if we want my number to be equal to the answer to life, universe and everything, we make it equal to 42. Okay, so the first time you create a variable, you have to specify the type. But once it's been created already, you can just refer to it by its name. So to recap real quick, to create a variable, you have to specify the type, you have to give the variable a name, to assign a value to a variable, you write equals and then put whatever you want to put inside afterwards. And importantly, the type of the data that goes inside the variable has to match the category or type of the variable itself. Now let's delete these two lines. So all we have left is our roll button, but this roll button is currently empty. So let's retrieve our button element from the layout XML. The way you retrieve any element from a layout is you find it by its ID, you find it by its name. So we're going to say find view by ID. And we're going to look for our button within our resources. So we're going to say our ID dot and here we have it, the roll button. Now we're going to put a semicolon in the end, I'm going to take a look at this code, we're going to find a view by its ID. And here we're going to give the ID of the view that we want to find. This is where those IDs that we set in the layout XML come in handy. Now Android Studio is underlining this code in red, which means there's something we have to fix about it. If we hover over it, we see incompatible types, which means that the value we're trying to assign to our variable doesn't fit its type, it's not a button. And that's because find view by ID actually gives us something very generic. It just gives us a view, which is the generic category for anything that goes on screen. However, our variable can only hold something of a specific category of the category button. So we're going to specify that what we retrieved with find view by ID is indeed a button by adding this code here. Let's do the same thing for our two image views that they're displaying our dice images. We'll create a variable called left dice for our left image view. So first we have to specify the type image view, hit tab, 
Then we give it a name, call it left dice. And then we're going to give left dice a value. Again, we're going to use find view by ID. The ID that we're looking for within our resources is image underscore left dice. Hit enter. Add that semicolon at the end. And then tell Android Studio that what we're finding is indeed an image view. Great. Now see if you can do the image view for the right dice on your own. I'm going to give you a few seconds before I show you how. Once again, we create a variable of type image view. We give it a name, right dice. And it's definitely going to hold an image view. And we're going to find that right dice image view by its ID. And here it is. And that's it. We've linked our three elements from our layout XML to the Java code. We've linked the image view displaying the left dice to a variable called left dice. And we've linked an image view that displays the right dice image to a variable called right dice. We've also introduced you to a bit of programming theory in the form of types and variables. Types are the category that a piece of data or a variable belongs to. And variables are the containers that hold on to a piece of data. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make that button listen for clicks and taps on screen.